dear brothers and sisters in Christ, a blessed solemnity of the Immaculate Conception to you. On this beautiful feast, the Church closes her celebration of the year of St. Joseph. This past year, through our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the Church has offered us the opportunity to increase our love for this great saint, to encourage us to implore his intercession and to imitate his virtues and his zeal. Indeed, the proper mission of the saints is not only to obtain miracles and graces, but to intercede for us before God, like Abraham and Moses, and like Jesus, the one mediator who is our advocate with the Father and who always lives to make intercession for us. The saints help all the faithful to strive for the holiness and the perfection of their particular state of life. Their lives are concrete proof that it is possible to live the gospel joyfully. Jesus told us, learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. The lives of the saints are also examples that we can imitate. St. Paul explicitly directs us, be imitators of me. And in his eloquent silence, St. Joseph invites us today to imitate him. Before the example of so many holy men and women, St. Augustine asked himself, what they can do, can you not also do? And so he drew closer to his definitive conversion when he could exclaim, late have I loved you, beauty ever ancient, ever new. We need only ask St. Joseph for the grace of graces, our conversion. I invite all of you to join me this evening at Holy Rosary Cathedral at 5.10 p.m. for the celebration of the Mass of the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception and the closing of the year of St. Joseph and to make your personal consecration to him as your spiritual fathers. Let us now pray for the aid of St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust with you, Christ learned to be a man. Blessed Joseph, to us too show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.